Let's face it, the internet is so vast and it's so massive that we have no idea where our data is going at any given moment. And while there might be some tangible, let's say, benefits where our data tries to come back to us in the form of targeted ads, uh, the unfortunate reality is that there are things out there that might use our data for more nefarious purposes. Now, while better internet security is going to be incredibly important moving forward, it's just one further benefit that I experienced by changing up my daily browser. This is Pocket Now, and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Let me take a second here to talk about the Brave browser. Like many of you out there, I'm a Chrome addict. You might call me a Google addict, actually, because like many of you, my accounts and services are on an Android phone. And through pure necessity, I need to use the Chrome browser to sync all of my data across my devices. It is also a matter of convenience. When setting up a new computer, logging into my Google account just means that my bookmarks, history, favorites, and extensions are all automatically installed without me having to do much work. But also like many of you out there, I have the same complaints when it comes to Chrome. While it might be a pretty speedy experience and so much of the internet has adopted Chrome as its main browser and supports this browser, it is also an incredible resource hog. There are times when I'm multitasking, perhaps to a degree that is kind of unnatural for most users, uh, where I'm actually playing a game on one screen and then I have a YouTube video playing on the other, or I might just pop back and forth between that and productivity workflows. With all of the different tabs that I might have open in Chrome, sometimes I might actually experience a slight stutter here or there or uh, worse the Chrome browser might actually just lock up because it has run out of resources that it can actually use. Now while I have tried to change up my browser in the past I always run into at least one part of the internet that demands integration with Chrome. Enter the Brave browser and after using it for the past week I'm installing it on my daily drivers and making it my default everywhere. You might notice that it looks kind of familiar and that is no accident. After all this browser is one of many based on Chromium, the open source browser project based on Chrome. So Brave has the skeleton of Chrome but a new set of armor complete with shields to protect users from the seedier whims of the internet. Everything that has kept me originally on the Chrome browser remains, including the cast button, but I can also install pretty much any extension uh, that I used to have on Chrome. Also, when installing Brave Browser, uh, all of the bookmarks and browser history and settings from the previous default browser is also synced. But speaking of those extensions, uh, this is where Brave's main feature comes in, the shields. In Chrome, installation of ad blockers and security measures was a separate affair, but Brave has it all built in. The shields not only block unwanted ads and prevent the annoying autoplay found on various websites, but it also keeps back all of the trackers trying to sync their claws into your data. It wasn't until I used the Brave browser on the daily for like the last week that I realized how many attempts were being made on my data on the daily. I've been able to surf the web the same as I always have, and according to the browser, it still blocked tens of thousands of ads and hundreds of trackers. Apropos of me to have my little avatar in the corner be a ninja. What's funny is all of that, important as it is, turned out to be secondary to my main reason why I moved to Brave, and that would be its minimal footprint. And even after putting in my most used extensions, I was still able to keep the resource load to a minimum because ad blocking is already an integral part of the Brave browser. It's not an extra. And the result has been a browsing experience that doesn't bog down my system the way that Chrome has in the past. For a lot of people and a lot of you watching, this might be one reason already to give this a try. And the Brave browser is actually cross-platform. You can install it on iOS and Android devices, and I'm certainly going to make it a permanent part of my new device setup. Now, I gave this one a little bit of thought because while browsers are a thing in the Google Play Store, for example, uh, it's not as if we use it as much as we do on desktops. However, there are times when you're in one of the many applications you'll have installed on your phones uh, that it wants to open up a browser, and it's during that little handoff between the app and the browser that I want to make sure those shields are definitely up. Device Sync is currently bookmarks only, but that will change as the Brave browser grows out of its beta stages and adds more features moving forward. One of those features is an expansion of the BAT or BAT token system, where a blockchain currency layer awards users and websites for allowing certified safe ads. Now, if you want to check it out for yourself, you can go into the links down below and try out a browser for yourself that treats you less like a product and lets you surf the internet faster than the speed of Chrome with less of the resource cost. But in any case, let's go ahead and just call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. And you can get into the comment sections down below. Let us know what browser you're currently using. And if you choose to try out the Brave browser, let us know what your experience has been as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Pocket Now if you haven't already. Drop some likes on these videos. Like I said, get into the comments and look forward to our next video.